It's Friday, and thank you for joining me on Joy News Interactive. I'm Ben Abubedi. Today is going to be exciting. It's going to be fun-filled. And uh, yesterday, I had Emanuela here on the set with me, but we had to cross over live. So I'm going to bring you a video of an interaction I had with her, and then I'll tell you how you can win yourself a ticket for that event, Calibos Meet Emanuela. And then we'll also be talking about something that happened a year ago today and how well you can spell parliamentary and we'll also bring you twitter trends hashtag what high school taught me or high school taught me and a lot of people are tweeting about life lessons they learned uh, from high school so here's how to get interactive with us on facebook our name is join news on tv when you get there there are a lot of issues posted there kindly leave your comments in the comment section on twitter as well our handle is of join news on tv same name will find us on instagram alternatively you can send me a whatsapp message on the number 0560 800 All right, so like I said, today is going to be fun-filled. It's going to be interesting. So a year ago today, uh, some posters of some parliamentary candidates, of uh, that, they were actually standing for the primaries on the ticket of the NDC, and there were some mishaps with the spelling of parliamentary. So we went into the streets of Accra to find out from people, how well can you spell parliamentary? Take a look at this. P-A-R-L-I-E-M-E-N-T. Parliamentary. Parliamentary. Oh, P-A-R-L-I-A-M-E-N-T-A-R-E-R-Y. Parliamentary. No, I have no idea. I can't spell it. P-A-R-L-I-T-A-T-A-R-Y. Parliamentary, yes. P-A-R-L-L-I-M-E. M C A R Y Parliamentary. So let's get on to Facebook. So you look at that photo I'm talking about for yourself a year ago. So um, that's it, uh, Seth Kwame Jokot over there, and uh, one uh, Matthew over there. And, uh, Check the spelling of parliamentary in these two posters. So this one is P-A-R-L-I-A-M-E-N-T-R-Y. And this one is uh, P-A-R-L-I-A-M-E-N-T-R-A-Y, like a tray or something like that. Uh, well, that's what happened well, a year ago. And uh, we just thought, well, it's not a Thursday, but how about a uh, throwback? Uh, there's one comment there by Bugri Baumia. But just to let you know that that's the reason we went onto the streets uh, of Accra to find out from people how they can spell parliamentary. Well, so that's the right spelling of parliamentary. Then you had a lot of people uh, on the streets of Accra spelling parliamentary right. And so a lot of your comments um, coming in. Um, like I said yesterday, if you watched the show, I had Manuel on the show, quite an interesting young lady. So, and let me just show you some interaction I had with her. No. You've not eaten Ghanaian jollof yet? Jollof rice. Jollof rice, yes, I've eaten it. So you like Ghana jollof? It's too... It's too what? No, <laughs> no. She says what? It's dull, dull. It's what? Ghana Jollof is dull. Dull, dull. Okay, guys, it's official. Manuela has gotten herself into this Ghana Nigeria Jollof saga. But let's talk about comedy now. You tell me, Mark, how did she get into comedy? Okay, I can't. Uh, I'm giving. Okay, Manuela, give him, give him. Okay, well, she wants to hold it for him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we needed, we needed a kid in one of the series, and then she said she could act. Um, we tried her out. She was able to do something, and then we started training her from there, and that's, the rest is history. The rest is history. It's, it's, it's been a hit. But you tell me, how did you join the team? Have you been with the team since its inception? Yeah. I was, you know, we've been doing this thing for a long time, before we discovered Emanuela. Just that she's the, 
the Emmanuel and now, you know. <laughs> so would so would you say that you brought some, you know, some goodwill to the Mark Angel comedy team? Yeah, it's obvious. Uh, it's obvious to see. It's that. not obvious. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's obvious. Yes, I would say yes. A big yes. Don't say yes or say no. <laughs> so you tell me. You see yourself all over the place. I watched your stand-up comedy and that was great because I was wondering how she was going to pull it off because we all work in the industry. We know how it is with, okay, cut, take it again, and then doing a live stand-up, but that was great. How did you feel? Okay, I feel happy. Mm. Mm. So right now in Nigeria, do you have people calling you and saying, hello, can I get a picture or something? How yes. does that make you feel? Happy. <laughs> So how is school? Oh, school is fine. Mm. And mm? and uh, what class are you in? People want to know uh, what I'm, class I'm you're in. I'm basic one. Okay, and that is primary one here. Yes. How old are you, Manuela? Six. Just six? Yes, exactly six. <laughs> I'm sorry, but and there's no way you can sit by this young lady and not crack up. But you know what? I posted a photo of you on Facebook, and I asked the viewers to tell us, or our Facebook audience, to tell us what they love about you and ask any question they would like to ask. And I have a question for you. Okay, let me pick this comment first. This one is from Kwating Okex, and he says, your future is bright. And all uh, he wants to say is that you should not get over yourself. Do you understand that? He's, he's trying to say you should be humble. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's someone's comment to you. And then um, Abba Moses says, where do you get your courage and confidence from? <sighs> where do you get your courage and confidence from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how does it mean? He's just asking, where do you get uh, your jokes? Where, how come you are six years but you're able to stand in front of the camera and be able to talk? You know, a lot of children like you can't do that, you know? Yes. Yeah. So how do you do that? Mm, maybe sometimes... I know I, I can do it. So. You know that you yes. can do it. Oh my gosh, she's, she's a genius already. She answered your question simple and straightforward. She knows that she can do it. And uh, this one says, what's your real age? You see, you said this is not your real face. Someone has asked you, what's your real age? But she's oh, mentioned that already. She's six. six years. And she said, exactly six. six. Well, that was my time with Emanuela. Like I said, I've got some tickets to give away, so I'll let you know how you can win yourself a ticket. And I'll bring you a message from her. She has a message for all her fans in Ghana. Well, on WhatsApp, this one says, Emanuela is a joke, and you're saying that and you're laughing your heart out, but you didn't add your name and location to that. Uh, this is from Sir Possible, and you say, I love this girl. Akutu Jacob Breakthrough in Hohoi says, Emanuela is really interesting she always makes me laugh shout out to her uh, you're okay shout out to christabel titty all right thank you for that comment and um, this is from mensa christian and you said uh, parliamentary power so you're going back to that uh, earlier vox you brought you of people who are not able to uh, spell parliamentary or some people who did well at spelling it this one says this girl is really gifted may god keep her for Africa. So let's move on to Twitter and what's trending on Twitter. Hashtag high school taught me and people are talking about a lot of life lessons they learned from high school. Let's check out what is happening on Twitter. I learned to be um, a bit determined and then perseverance like to excel in everything I do. But life at Pujos was not that was not that easy. There were so many circumstances that was not favorable to me. And I think Pujos gave me an give me the opportunity to excel over those difficult situations and I think that's helped me in my life. Um, initially I, I was very smallish in the, in the, when I was there and our seniors were big, big and tall so I think the situation that we found ourselves in when we went, as smallish as we, we were, it allowed me to relate more to um, big individuals or let's say um, muscular individuals and I think it has given me more confidence in my as I came out from the, in the from the SHS. And she told me to stay away from it and and even if I try it, I should use a condom or I should Well so 
Apologies, that was actually some Vox Pops. Uh, we went out to the streets to find out from people how well or what kind of lessons did you learn from high school. I'll bring you uh, the tweets that we were able to gather on the hashtag high school thought me in a bit. But guess what? I've still got some tickets to give away to Calibos Meet Emmanuel at that particular event is happening at the A4 Sutherland Park. We'll take a quick break when we come back this morning. Join us interactive. Please stay with me. <laughs> Thanks for staying on Joy News Interactive with me, Ben. It's up with a lot of your comments coming in. <laughs> but let's get back onto WhatsApp. Eh? Now, all of you are talking about uh, Emanuela and how you love her. And I, I told you I was going to bring you a message from her because I asked her to say something to you, all her fans in Ghana. Take a look at this. <laughs> okay, so Manuela, look into that camera. That's yours. To all your fans in Ghana, what would you like to tell okay. them? Okay, thank you. Thanks for the support. And I wish you happy. Good luck. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> All right. And uh, you, just look into that camera. All right. Every, uh, thank you for the support. As Emanuela has said, thank you for the huge support. Thank you for the love. We love you. Please, please keep supporting us. Keep praying. For us. We're trying to say something. So just end the show for us. End the show. You're done. Respect your mothers and your fathers. <laughs> and your siblings. Thank you, and that's a wrap. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, so here's how to get yourself a ticket. I've got three to give away uh, for that event at the A4 Sutherland Park. Calibots, Calibots, sorry, meets Emanuela. And this is how you're going to win yourself a ticket. Send me a WhatsApp message of your favorite line from any of the skits that you've seen Emanuela in, your favorite line, and I'm going to contact you and uh, tell you how you can get your ticket. Okay, so... Talk about Twitter trends, like I mentioned, I was going to bring it. And hashtag high school taught me is trending on Twitter. Let's take a look at it. In today's edition, hashtag high school taught me is trending worldwide. Here are a few tweets with hashtag high school taught me. At one D Saints, hashtag high school taught me that I need to dress so I don't distract the boys from their learning environment. At Alisa Madrid, hashtag high school taught me that it's not about learning, it's about passing. At Kylio XOXO, hashtag high school taught me to never give away your good pencils because you ain't getting them back either. At Roy Christopher, hashtag high school taught me how to fall asleep in uncomfortable positions. At ZLM Demigod, hashtag high school taught me that the quiet people in the back of the class are the best people you ever meet. At JDBSX Janos, hashtag high school taught me once you graduate, your friends are no longer your friends and you won't talk to them again. At Antonio de la Toro, hashtag high school taught me core curriculum, but it didn't teach me about the Black Lives Matter movement, gay rights or feminism. Twitter did. At Y underscore adolescentis, hashtag high school taught me how to do the homework in three minutes before the teacher comes. That's all for Twitter Trends today. High school does teach us a lot, doesn't it? Let's get into Facebook. And Bakari Gideon says, I learned the moral of survival of the fittest. Don't delay for dining, else you'll starve. And he says, hashtag repping underscore or that dear. Ben Kessy says, that lesson was, I have to pass and go to the university at all costs. Nobody cared how I got the grades. And I'm not sure that's too much of a good lesson. And Sana Mohammed says, I learned how to date ladies in senior high school. And well, he says he took that behavior from a friend. Okay, real biggie take who says, I did learn much lessons when I was in high school. I did learn how to live on your own socialization and how to be disciplined. 
Uh, so here on WhatsApp, uh, Sir Possible, you won yourself a ticket. You said your favorite line uh, from Emmanuel Skits is, it's obvious, but we are not talking about your family. And that's when they were talking about the origin of human beings and all that. So I'll contact you after the show so you can, you know, help yourself with a ticket. Well, that's how we wrap up Join News Interactive for today. Thank you so much for your company. I do love the fact that I always come to meet you and share your opinions on trending issues with the rest of the world. Don't forget, the conversation continues on all our social media media platforms. On Facebook, we are Join News on TV, same name. We'll find us on Twitter and Instagram. Alternatively, you can send us a WhatsApp message on the number 0560-800-1000. My name is Benis Abubedi. Do have a fantastic weekend and take care of yourself. God willing, we we'll meet next week, Monday.